shot, he did video for you. Okay, all right. <laughs> so you know what you're talking about? The guy who was sitting beside our trailer, still his video. Oh, yeah, yeah, yep. Okay. Yep, that's him. Okay, all right. Yeah, he's a nice guy. Yeah, he is. Together. Okay. And now I'm about you, he had that with him when we were together, <laughs> so he helps me and I helps him. But but I have, I have <clears> taken me, <throat> when my wife was in, in Chip Top, I, she and I, 10 years, uh, uh, called Sasser Racing, tell him, give me the parts I need, you send me the block, I'll build your engine, and won't cost you a dime, but just the parts you got me saying. I don't want to go take it. It'll take about six months. I sent the motor, took the battery wood, kept the motor for about nine, ten months. I mean, he met me in Lancaster, New York with the motor, with the stripper sitting in there. And that's the motor that lasts for about three years. Mm -hmm. It was in, uh, uh, what, 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 Texas. I was in Houston, Texas, and I broke a rocker, and I had a spare motor in the trailer. And rather than to take the spare motor out, I rather than take the rocker off the spare motor, I, took, I changed the motor. I had been in there three years to take her place. So I, I definitely need four people now. Well, well, knock on wood, Jim, you won't have any problems with that car. Yeah, I'm, I'm I'm in Illinois, right on the border of cl close to Wisconsin border. Okay, all right. Okay, yeah, you, 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 are you raising it? Are you just uh, doing your thing? No, I just do my little uh, interviews with uh, drivers from all over the world. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. Yeah, I, I interview a lot, a lot of uh, nostalgia nitro funny car drivers and. Jet car drivers and wheel standers and pro stocks, everything. Okay. Yeah. All right. Try to give you, try to promote you guys as much as I can. Okay. All right. Yeah. Okay. You, you're one of the legends. Thank you, thank you. Now, how can as as me this? How will this interview help me get a date? Right now, it's be it's live right now. I, I know you're. Uh, Grandson Eric shared it around. He because he told me he was gonna share it on Facebook or whatever. So. Oh, okay. All right. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Then it, and then it, then it gets recorded. All it gets recorded too. It'll be on YouTube. <laughs> okay. All right. Did uh he tell you about his dad building building the car? No, I don't think Eric ever told me that story. Okay, I think his father uh, <coughs> uh, uh building him uh. Uh, golf cart too. Okay. So, so how many how many uh, events are you looking to book next year? Well, I I got to the point uh, if if they don't call me, uh, I don't call them. I got a couple of four or five. Track said, "Don't call me, and I'm not gonna call you. I want you here on this date next year. Call me if your price change, or call me if you can't make it. But don't call me and ask me, are you coming? Oh yeah, you here on this date. So, but that those I gotta go. But like I said, uh, I'm 85 years old, almost 86, and uh." I just, and, and the main thing, the wife is uh, getting a little bit slower, so I I don't push it no more than other words. Uh, if he, he, he do all my booking anyway, but when he get, I'll take, if we do it, that's it, and he, he know me so well, so we live in the same make of wood. He knows what I got going on, he knows what he didn't book. So he, he, he takes all that. So just whatever he come up with, that's what we take. So we know, we, we know 
for you'll do Night of Fire next year, and uh, I'm sure you do Larry's Fun Fest. Right. Yeah. So. Uh, mostly. And we got a call a few minutes ago from some parts in Tennessee. And I was telling your grandson Eric recently that it too too bad they, they don't book you uh that Great Lakes Dragway you know on uh, Memorial Day weekend Labor Day weekend it that'd be yeah like we used to do yeah that would be neat to see you go up side by side Richard yeah yeah we 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 ran side by side uh, nine to five in uh, Norwalk yeah. Yeah, cause you, you and well, Richard's another legend. He's he's up You're there. You're right. I, I think Richard, he just went eighty. I think. Yeah. Yeah. And no, well, he 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 didn't believe in pushing it. Uh, the two oldest wheel standers in the building, blah blah blah. You know what I mean? And uh, he was one of the old men. Cause blah blah blah. He he go push it up real big. Yep. So how, how many years do you think you got left in you, Jim, to do the wheel stand? I, <laughs> I, was, I was trying to hold on until I'm 89. Well, as long as you keep still feeling like a kid, then, yeah, you know. Oh, okay, thank you. Thank you. Yeah. That's like that's like your fountain of youth right there when you get in the wheel stander. Yeah, it's just change attitude. <laughs> Yeah, uh, and, and let me tell you another thing. You over the winter months, you uh, you you stay out that other thing for four or five months. You get in it, you doing you you slightly lost, a little nervous. You know, what I'm supposed to do here? Blah, blah, blah. But that other thing up, man, and hit that noise, and you come right back to you. Yeah. Now, do, do do you have any? Do you have any sponsors for the wheel center? Never did, never, never. I wish they did. I'm, I keep looking at these guys on TV, these guys that that I that I know, and uh, but you cannot get to these guys. They got me on John Five over here on the news, all that kind of stuff. And and when I get to talk to them, I say, man, can you do me into a, uh, one of the stars? I call a guy, I have to call no name, but anyway, it was him. Oh, we got loud to yep, no one <laughs> talk to one of these stars. So other words, I don't know how to do it. I know some person I don't have no sponsor, no help. No. Never did. So, Alright, so what what are some of your favorite tracks to go to? Tracks. Yeah, what are some of your favorites? Uh you probably don't know what about D, but my favorite tracks is down south. Alabama and Mississippi. What, what, what's the name of the track? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's uh, Hattiesburg, Mississippi. What name of the track? I, it's hard to beat him. I remember it's bad. And uh, the other one is uh, Yard Raceway. It's two tracks I just love to go there. Uh, we was in uh, some parts of the south, and the guy knew about Norwalk. He said, I've never been to Norwalk, but I heard so much about it. You go to Norwalk, you go to Norwalk all the time. He said, I run, he had a, what name them cars that run fast as a, uh, funny car. They were real low to the ground, old, oh, uh, Fumat. Yeah. He had a Fumat. He said, I run, uh, and no one for proof just to be there. <laughs> so that way I am about to come back down south. Wow. It's just fun to be. It, well, the truth is, I'm from the south, you know what I mean? And you go, be, go back home and see some of the guys that you raised up with, but not too many of them, because not too many guys that I raised up with is 85 that I feel is still alive, you know what I mean? And if they are, they are. Don't go to a racetrack. You should always go to a racetrack. You know, they, or at least they think so. But they're they're son and their grandson heard about me through them, and it's just a pleasure to be kicking it, talking about the old 
it is. That's all. Okay, so so now, Jim, what, what would you consider to be some of the milestones of your wheel standing career? Uh, uh, uh explain it. What do you mean? Milestones, like you, you know, like you, you stuff you wanted to accomplish that you accomplished. <laughs> well, we, the wife and I was talking about that uh, a couple nights ago. I. The main thing when makes me feel great when a person tell me that what we cannot do, and, and I come to that. Uh, and I, I don't want this to get no further. I, I think I am the highest paid quill standing in the business. Uh, keep that under your head. I don't know what no one get exactly. The track don't tell you a lie, but uh, and then, to keep my mouth shut. And the guy told me, he said, Jim, he said, I'm gonna pay you this, said, but don't even tell your pit crew how much you get because it get back to the other wheel standard, and then I'm gonna have a problem. Either pay them. Uh, they don't run for me. So they want to know who the hell are you. You will keep this under your hat. So, yeah, I do. I, no one, uh, there's not another wheel standing.